Hey guys, I'm Mark the Geek. In this video, I'm gonna be playing Resident Evil 4 on the Nintendo Switch, like you see right here. And of course, keep in mind, I already did upload a video in portable mode. Um, I'm gonna be playing from my latest save file, which is four hours and 17 minutes, like you see there. So, you know, so far I've been getting used to the controls already. Uh, when I first started playing this game, it was kind of hard to get used to it because the controls they do feel old they do feel outdated uh, that's one thing i'm gonna say right away uh, but graphic wise in my opinion this game does look pretty damn good now saying that i don't know if the graphics that you see here are more upgraded than the than the when this game came out on the PlayStation 4 because not PlayStation 4 did it I think it came out for the PlayStation 3 right and I don't know if this is the same graphic quality as the PlayStation 3 one but it still looks good on the Nintendo switch it still looks good uh, control wise like I said they didn't for me in my opinion I, I don't think they actually did upgrade uh, the controls at all it does feel it still feels like uh, the old gamecube uh, version uh, i think i've heard also that you can play this game with the nintendo gamecube controller the one that has been released for um the Welcome. nintendo switch so most likely if you played this game before on the gamecube and you picked that controller most likely you're gonna be more familiarized with this game so here we are with a vendor and i'm gonna go ahead and sell something here normally i don't know i don't like to sell these things unless i have more than one but right now i'm just gonna sell it there for the purpose of this video so you guys can see i have another weapon there that i can buy the ren 9 uh the rocket i want to get it later on i think we're gonna need the rocket later on and um, let's see what can we upgrade here. This is, uh, I think, the shotgun. No. Nah. Is that all? Capacity. Stuff? Yeah, capacity. Thank you. So now we have ten stranger. rounds capacity for the shotgun. Come back at any time. And like you see here, we also are walking around with Ashley, which is the president's daughter. Um, in this mission coming up, you have two paths you could take. You could take the longest path, or you could take a short path, which uh, makes you fight the giant, uh, which is kind of hard. But I'm going to go ahead and this time around, I'm going to go ahead and start with the left path, which is the longer path, I think. Okay, right. Now I'll choose left. I did choose right on, the, on another save file that I have. But, wow, I got confronted with the big uh, giant monster, and I, I i don't know, I just couldn't figure it out. So let's go ahead and try here. We're going to go ahead, uh, we got the whip. Uh, we're going to go ahead the handgun. Ayeta! Ayeta! Now, that box right there, that container, you can actually tell Ashley to get inside of the container. Oh yeah, I hate these. Ah, oh, there you go. Kick it. Oh yes. Blow up the barrels. There you go. Whew. Not bad. So we got some rifle rounds. We got some more rifle rounds. And what else is this? Ah, more rifle rounds. So I have a whole bunch of rifle rounds, which is the weapon that I've been using the less. I, and I remember that when I was playing this game on the GameCube, I think the rifle was one of the weapons that I used the most. And for some reason in this game, on the Nintendo Switch, I barely been using it at anything. I, I don't think I've used it at all. So far, the weapons that I've been using the most is my handgun, which is the upgraded one. It's the Punisher, I think it is. And um, the shotgun and uh, TMP, which is like the small machine gun. There you go. 
Now, like you see there, Ashley does need health, but I'm just gonna tell her to, hey, get in this box, hide in there. There you go. That way, I don't have to worry about her. Kick it. There you go. <laughs> Now, another thing that this game doesn't have that um, I've heard that the Nintendo Wii U version actually came with uh, motion control. I did not know that. I heard it from somebody else because when I played this game on the GameCube, it, I don't think it, it had motion controls. And, and besides, I hate motion controls, but I think this game would actually benefit from motion controls and it does not have it. I did hear, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, that on the Nintendo Wii U, it did have motion controls. Which is kind of weird that they didn't bring it back to the Nintendo Switch. Unless they're gonna bring it later on with the uh, patch. Which I think that is totally possible. I think it's totally possible for them to bring motion control. Because Doom, when Doom actually released, it did not have motion controls. And then like months later, it got the update for motion controls. So I think it's possible for Capcom to run motion controls here. Oh crap. There we go, throw a grenade right there. Come on, dude. There you go. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, we better get some. Knocking down the ladder actually does a little bit of damage. What the hell? Oh crap. My health. Let's go and get some. Um, you know what? I got a red one and a green one, so let's combine that. Use it. There you go. Uh, this should be enough to finish this level. shot I don't want to get down there because I did fail before and I got my my head chopped off with, a, with one of those ah, chainsaws okay let's go ahead and change to one thing that I would have liked for them to change here um, Resident Evil 4 is the weapon management it would have been nice that it with the triangle not the triangle <laughs> triangle I'm thinking about the PlayStation console um, it would have been nice if with the X or the R button you can actually switch between weapons instead of having to pause the game and switch weapons kind of annoying it takes a while to get used to but that's how you do it here so yes finally we got it we also got the key and um, let's see is there something else over here? Now, later on, I'm going to also try to upload another video for um, Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered, which last night, ooh, I was playing it nonstop. I couldn't stop playing Assassin's Creed. Um, I really, really like it. I really like what they did with the game. It feels really good on the Nintendo Switch, and right now, uh, it came out the same day as Resident Evil 4, which is, of course, one of my favorite games um, ever. Not only just my favorite Resident Evil game, it's one of my favorite games ever. Um, but, if you tell me which one should you buy, honestly, oh man, it's, it's a hard choice because I am really enjoying um, Assassin's Creed 3 remastered on the Nintendo Switch and so far I've reached to the point that I already passed um, the amount of gameplay that I did the first time that I tried this the game on the play PlayStation 3 I think it was 
So I already passed that point, and now I'm in the good part of um, Assassin's Creed 3. So, so far, I'm liking it, and it looks really good on the Nintendo Switch as well. So, honestly, if you tell me which one you should you buy or which one came out the best, I would say Assassin's Creed because it feels more natural. You know, right now here, the problem with RE4 is that the controls, when you're aiming, it uh, feels really awkward. It feels really old, really outdated. Uh, when you're moving around with the controller, it feels really outdated. Um, but, you know, Assassin's Creed 3 actually feels natural. It feels modern, you know, compared to this game. And graphic-wise, looks as good as this game, or maybe even better, especially the cutscenes. But, you know what, no matter which game you choose, you're not gonna be disappointed. You're not, because they're both two great games, totally different genre, so. Crap, I forgot about this section right here. Hide. Hide. Yes. Ah, that's a flashbang. Ah, that's a flashbang. Crap. Oh man, I think this is the only friggin' grenade I have. Uh, you know what? I think I should have. I think I could. I think I could have kicked them because they were. Crap. Shotgun shell. Let's see if I can do a couple of them like this. Come on. Oh, oh my gosh, you missed my fucking axe. Oh, he didn't miss. <laughs> oh crap. Shake the. There you go. Oh, there you go. Come on, let's go ahead and choose only one round. Make it count. There you go. Oh! <laughs> oh, crap. Let's go and switch to... Crap, I can't combine. I can't load it up. So I'm gonna have to just equip the... Oh, crap. Let's go run. There you go. Okay. Oh! Oh! There you go. Come on. We got this. There you go. Come on! Oh crap, low battle. Come on. Oh yes. Whew. Okay, that was pretty damn good. Pretty damn intense as well. Cause the sad thing is that I'm running out of rounds for every weapon. So Okay, let's go in. Yeah, man, I'm running. Okay, Leon. Oh, man. Hey, girl. Get out of here. Come on. Let's go. I know I should use a health with her, but uh, what if I need it? <laughs> let's go and take that out. There you have it. Nice. Ooh, man, I thought it was gonna be a lot more harder than that. It was tough, but uh, the the chainsaw ladies. Ooh, they were kind of scary, but we got it done. by around the house just to, just to see if there's anything because a lot of times there's some like you know some maybe something special some laying around ammo or some gems valuables oh no this is not 
Okay, we have a typewriter right here. And what's this? Okay, villages, last events, I cleared in this. Okay. Okay, what's in here? We got some more rifle ammo. Man, I have a whole bunch of rifle ammo. Let's go ahead and save it just in case. I don't know what's ahead. There you go. Four hours and 39 minutes. Not bad. Okay, so let's go ahead and buy. I don't think we have enough credit here. Got a selection of I don't think good so. Things. What are you selling? Okay. Ruby. I might need that later on. Mask. Amber ring. Okay, let's go and sell that. Let's see what can we buy. The red nine. I don't know if I should buy the red nine or not. But I really want to buy that rocket launcher. It's going to take 30,000 pesetas. Okay, firepower. What should I upgrade? You know what? Firepower Sounds for this. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. Come back anytime. Okay, that sounds right. Uh, the reason I upgraded that firepower is because it's the I think it's the weapon that I have most rounds for. Uh, and this right here is the route that we would have got if we chose the right opening. So like you saw at the beginning, there was a left and right opening. That would have been our exit to this section right here. So this door, I think we cannot open this door yet. Let me see, it won't open. I guess this is only like, okay. Nah, crap. It won't open. Yeah, well, it won't open and I don't have anything in my inventory that can actually be used to open that so I guess we're gonna have to go over here and um, um, think we're gonna be ending the video soon but so far like I said my impressions of this game so far is that uh, you know it's great that I've been able to play this game on the go on the Nintendo switch in portable mode I love it, you know, and since it came out on the GameCube, I haven't touched this game. So it's been how many years? I don't even remember how long it has been, but it's been a long time I played this game on the Nintendo GameCube, and that's how long since the release date on the GameCube. That's how long. Oh my god. <laughs> there you go. We're finally using our rifle. Now, I do remember that I used to use a rifle in this section right here. That's why I, I actually oh, grabbed it. <laughs> there you go. Okay, there you go. Two for one. We got another one. There you go, right in the leg. Oh, man, he landed that. Ah, oh, crap, we have no ammo. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. I lost him. Oh no. Holy crap, wait a second. He's on top. Let's go ahead and choose another weapon here. Oh crap, I chose one. Unloaded. There you go. Oh. Okay, guys. So there you have it. This is the gameplay of Resident Evil 4 on the Nintendo Switch. I'm really liking this game, and if you never played it before, I totally recommend playing it. But of course, the controls is going to take a while to get used to. But once you get used to the controls, man, it does have a very good story. The action is really good. And the graphics looks pretty damn good here on the Nintendo Switch, especially in portable mode. In portable mode, looks way better. So guys, thanks for watching this video. This was Resident Evil 4 for the Nintendo Switch. Till next time, guys. Bye-bye.